Okay, I'm gonna cut this in within part of the grinding because I didn't realize this when I started grinding. These were literally, I just killed two and then I realized this was actually a unique enemy. I didn't realize, but these are the enemies I need to beat for what I'm trying to get. What am I getting? This silver chest might have what I'm looking for. It does not, but it has one of the crystals. I think it has to be the silver chest though. Yeah, but so I'm gonna do this unique monster here and then I'll get back to grinding. You guys will see it as like cut clips as just like the last grinding session. Excuse my commentary to this, uh, for this. I'm tired. I was not expecting this, but I need to, I need to grind these enemies. So I'm not gonna cut, I'm not gonna just skip this and make this harder for myself. My rifle's getting Melia. Didn't know a rifle could become Melia. Uh, dialogue sometimes can meld in such interesting ways. I think I'll hold on to this because we're about to get another chain attack. Come on. One more. There we go. Now here's hoping I can get my chain attack back to Dunman. Headshot. Spear break. Damn it. That would have finished it. Well, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Might as well have spirit breath go. Yo, your target's right over here, you fool. Stabby. This fight's as good as done. <laughs> Let's see if I got what I'm looking for so I can show you what I'm doing at the very start. No, I still didn't get it. But either way, the free enemies that spawn here, um, they can drop these rare Raha crystals and they can have the def the days resist cr effects. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for to begin with before I fully on grind to level 95, to, well, 96 to 97. All right, see you. Uh, um, cut clips, tired. Alright then, the first part of the grinding session here is me showing you why I'm grinding against these enemies, the crystals that I've been trying to get. It's not from this chest, it's from the gold chest just up ahead. We need these rare Raha crystals from RFC. In this chest, you will see that we end up getting one of the crystals that has Days Resist. 11% right there. I'm going to be grinding to gather all I need for these to get 6. So what you're about to see next is me crafting my first but my first one so you guys can see exactly what I'm trying to do because one of the most up one of the upcoming things in the next few episodes is going to be a side quest with a boss that has a, a day's spike so days resist I really recommend you get it now and here's that first one I won't show you getting the rest but I'll show you at least getting this one, so you guys can see what it is I did. I was a bit slow because I was wondering which was the best choices. Still think Melee and Fiora are the best ones for creating gems, but who knows? Maybe there's another combinations that are even better than these two. Let me know in the comments below. But we get a Revival HP up 6 and a Days Resist 6. And now the rest of this cut clip is going to be affinity buffs and achievements from this point forward. Enjoy the rest, there ain't much, so I'll see you in the episode.
Hey YouTube, it's Lepa Maker 103, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, episode 111. Yes. <laughs> uh, you'll have noticed at the beginning there, you saw all my clips, my achievements, the affinities, and that everybody is level up again. More than likely, that was our final grinding session. I don't think I'll need to grind again to max to level 99. Yeah, oops, sorry, hit the mic. Still kind of adjusting into place. <sighs> okay. But, we got some stuff here, we got some skills. Shulk gained a bunch of skills. Everybody got a bunch of skills. So, reducing aggro drawn from arts, that's pretty good for Shulk because he's a glass cannon. Increasing the chance of burst affinity after evasion. I don't know what that means. Reduce the aggro taken. Well, when damage is taken, again, good for Shulk because he is a glass cannon. Okay, then Ricky. His buff, of course, was just get into full hearts with Dunban. Grants HP buff at the start. Fills party gauge when aura activating an aura. Ricky does have an aura. He has the spikes. That might be the best one to go for. Melia. She got a good few as well. Boost damage dealt. Damage dealt to enemy suffering from sleep. That makes sleep actually better then, doesn't it? Wow. When an aura is activated, increase damage dealt to Telethia. Extend the blaze duration when en when dealt to an enemy. Not bad. And of course, she got a f max affinity buff with Fiora. Ryan. Um... Skill branch, got three again. Heals the party after a chain attack. Very nice. Battle starts affinity. Grants HP buff to the party. Grants strength up when the party member is incapacitated. Ooh. Fiora. She's finished up courage. Fills the bat the party gauge if two allies are incapacitated. Ooh, that's a nice second wind right there. Yeah, that is that is actually amazing, giving you a chance to revive if you are literally the last one standing. Oh, that is nice. Okay, um, grants immunity to ether down. I'll put that. Okay, next up we got Shala. Immunity buff with Dunban. Increased tension after successful ability. Reduce recruitment of weight. We'll do that one. And then Dunban. Whoop. Can't do that. Increase strength. I'll do that. Okay, that's all of those. And for the usual thing for the beginning of the episode, we do a heart to heart. But one other thing. That's all that remains of the Makonis. I've been meaning to show this for a while. Makonis is down. Alright, heart to heart. I could have sworn I checked this before I did this. I can't do this one. God damn it. Here's one I can do. I just need Sha Shulk and Shala in the party at any time. We're over here by the bridge. You can see the road that goes all the way up. Alright then. What visions may bring. Hey Shulk, what is it like being able to see the future? It's kinda hard to explain. If I had to describe it, it's like being made to watch a dream. A dream, huh? That's one strange power. Tell me, Sharla, what do you think of my power? I wish I had it. If I had your power, maybe I could have saved Colony 6. I could see why that would mean a lot to you. You might even be able to save Gatto. Yeah, but honestly, the more I think about it, the more I realize none of this could have been helped. You and your pa and your power kept Juju safe. I'll always be grateful for that. Yeah, that was a close one. I'm glad we made it in time. Otherwise, there could have been a future where Juju didn't make it. Thank goodness for your visions. If you had a vision, well, if you have a vision, it means. You can save someone's life. I feel, I feel like a stronger person whenever I'm around you. That's kind of you to say. Thank you, Shala. But... What is it? I can't see everything. Sometimes the visions are quite hazy. 
And even when I see the future, I can't always change it. Are you talking about what happened to Fiora? Yeah. I'm all... I'm also worried about what's going to happen to Bionis. I've hardly been able to see anything. If only my power wasn't so limited. Don't be so hard on yourself. You've saved us how many times now? Yeah, I guess I have. Thanks, Sharla. But I still wish I could master my power a bit better. If there's anything I can do, just let me know. I'll support you all the way. And I am extremely sorry if you can hear my dog. I will see you guys. We're going to go up to Valak Mountain to grab an item because we're going to do another... We're going to do Replica Monado 5 and then I'm going to head to Tefra Cave. So, see you at Valak Mountain. What's my dog? Shut up! Okay then, we need to defeat the Glory Slobs in order to get the asked one. That's the thing though with this quest. As you saw at the very beginning of the episode, I did accidentally get one of the materials during my grinding, the Diamond Brog Eye. I completely blanked out. I was actually going in auto mode when uh, I was grinding. Uh, I was watching videos and that while I was doing it, so I kind of blanked out. But hey, you saw me get it anyway. So we got the Diamond Brog Eye from the Brogs in Tefra Cave. Now we just need to get the Yellow Schlob Rock. We should be more than capable of fighting this thing, so let's do it. Iron Will. We've never fought this enemy, so I'm going to keep it in. You know what? I'd like to lose the aggro for a moment. There we go. Let's get some of these buffs, or debuffs going. And I'm also going to eat that stat buff of his. Oh, come on. Seriously? Uh, he's barely tickling us, and we're doing... And he's almost beaten. This was easy. Nah, I can't be bothered. Oh. Dung. I'm so good at uh, hitting that to get the full three buffs. If you can master that, that's really good. Dunban's talent art really helps you out with that because you got to hit it so many times. And it gets a little faster each time. That's going to kill me, is it? No, thank you. Bolt. Kill it! 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 <laughs> Somebody tells me I didn't get what we was looking for. Nope, I got a dull stone. Well, that's dull. <laughs> I'll see you once I get it. Ricky might be useful for this if it's you're having trouble. Oh, we got a fifty buff for a purple. That. This enemy may not do much damage in certain attacks, but he can hurt you a lot. He went, I went from almost a full health to nothing. Yeah, we got max affinity between Melia and Shulk now. Very nice. Alright then, still haven't got the item. See you in a sec. And more poke. Okay. Well, everybody, stop dropping brown chests. Well, wooden chests. Oh, there is a silver one. Oh, thank God. We got it. All right then, to colony six. All right, we are here. Hello, Vanea. Hello. I see you have gathered the necessary materials. I will get to work immediately. I have finished. The Monado Sage has been designed for superior defense. Its thick metal suppresses the blade's output. The attack strength is greatly reduced, but it provides peerless defense. We got a defensive one now. Alright then, let's have a look at it. Monado Sage. Yeah, physical defense and Aoife defense. Wow, they really do shot up. I'll use it because I plan to show off at least, show them all off. Hopefully at least one fight. So I'll, I'll use it. Alright. I have to say though, it does look pretty funky. <laughs> the Tefra Cave! Alright then, our party is Shulk, Dunban and Ricky. 
Ricky got trapped. Okay, this episode we are actually going to be taking on the side quest here at Tefra Cave at last. Sure. What, what type of uh, trades are you capable of giving or doing? Critical at 5 gem. Interesting. Arachno silk. Hmm. Alright then. This quest, Shulk, is for the unique commentary. What is it? Oh, honestly. They got some nerve leaving me out here all alone. Hey you, you look hey, you look cap a capable, reliable bunch. Would you mind if I asked you to help me out with my research? Long ago, a race of giants built the the Balfogola tomb. I can't say it. The tomb <laughs> in this very spot. I always knew of its existence, but I could never reach it. Then the Bionis move, you see, and once the seal and a and once sealed path opens. Wow! How could I pass up this golden opportunity to study it? So I had the defense some defense force soldiers escort me, but they ran. First, you need to go to Villa Lake and get me some st get me the Starlight Book. It should be it should describe how to open the hidden hidden door in this room. Please hurry. Uh, we never actually agreed to. Oh, are you not interested? No, it's not that we're not interested, but my research is here. My research here is sure to be a great use in the future. It might clarify the connections to the other giant ruins. I can't do it can't do any harm to check. Please have a look. Let's go and get the Starlight Book near Villa Lake. That's the spirit. Don't worry, I'll reward you well. It's been quite they've been quite generous with my research funds this time. Alright then, let's head over to Villa Lake. Ah, I see. In fact, it'd be better off that we don't fast travel and actually travel by foot and go this way. At least I think. I think I know where it is. Oh, that's a unique enemy right there. Oh, I went the wrong way. Yep, this feels right. We head up this way. You can find that unique enemy if you want, and then just head down this path. That's the thing as well about the unique enemies. An episode coming up, not next episode, the episode after, we're finally going to be taking care of those. We got the Starlight Book. That'll be an interesting episode. Alright then. What is it? You did it! It's the Starlight Book! Wow, this book is dusty. Let me take a look. Hold on a sec. And with that, that quest is done. Will you please be quiet? I'm trying to concentrate. Quest complete. No rewards, but another quest. And this one, we need Ricky, and he's with us already. What is it? I finished reading it. Relax, we're in no rush. An offering must be placed on this altar in order to open the door. The offering we need to make is a white spider heart. Now you already know there are many spiders in Tefra Cave. When these ruins were built, there were giant the giants and spiders were enemies. Among both groups with the Among the both groups, the heart of the white spider was revered. That's why we need to use the heart as an offering. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Ricky no want to eat that. We won't be eating it, so don't worry, you cute little thing. Ricky no, no cute little thing. Ricky big. Ricky have 11 little pon. Oh my, you must be older than me. My apologies. Okay, so the white spider heart. When you find it, please place it on the altar. Alright then, we gotta go and, def go and collect one spi white spider heart. Excellent. Good luck finding it. 
Once you have it, place it on the altar. D don't bring it to me. Got it? Now, I think I remember this one, and I question if this team will work for it, but we'll see. It is that one right there, and it is a unique enemy. By the way, as you've noticed, Tefra Cave isn't finished yet. I believe one of the locations is actually beyond here, and I think potentially over this way as well. So we'll go over there. We'll be completing Tefra Cave in its entirety this episode. Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, crap. Running away, super away. I'm gonna get oh, so much attention! I'm going this way! <laughs> Location, the Arachno Feeding Lair. I don't want... <laughs> I'll see you in a sec. Location, Path of Absolution. We got a bunch of things here. Wow. I guess it was worth coming this way after all. There are some locations. Might as well just keep on going because I think there... And I just realized what I just jumped down from. Great. Alright, we are back over here. The enemy isn't here anymore though. That's a problem. Now I can't even tell if we've completed all the locations or not yet. So it tells me we now won't until we get to the end, but that's fine. You would get in my way. I'm just gonna walk towards the end. I'll see you at the very end over here, then I'm gonna get the enemy to spawn. It's a unique enemy and I'm pretty sure it's got a spike. It has spawned. So Shulk is pretty valuable for this upcoming fight. The Dazzlings, uh, level 97. It doesn't have a spike. I thought it did. Okay, good. Well, this will be an interesting fight. Let's uh, use Shadow High and get the aggro off me right away. Let's do some let's do some debuffs. Okay, okay, okay. Heal Dunban. I didn't mean to do that. Chain attack. I'm going to use armor. Chain attack. Okay. <laughs> I am not holding back. By D by D. Gale Slash. Ah, oh, I was really hoping that would continue. Then again, the first one never seems to ever go, ever continue. Nice. Hit that again. Oh, Vision. Virgin Bite. Ricky's got Little Pond, though. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't resist. Time for another chain attack. Slit edge. Bitey bitey. Sl yeah, your slash. This time it continues. Makes sense. Say sorry, chain five. I can't continue the chain. Oh well, <laughs> he did a butt ton of damage there. This fight's good as done. Oh. oh! Didn't even notice that. Buster! Oh, I didn't even finish it! God damn it. It looks like the thing's full. I forgot about that. Cure round. Oh yeah, I did get some books as well. I just remembered that. Um, I, I guess I'll take this. Um, just get rid of this. 
yeah, that's something I forgot. When I was grinding, I did get some books. Sneaky Sneaky, Heat Age, Final Flicker, Magnum Charge, and we just got Cure Round. I forgot about that. Oops. <laughs> right then, let's go back. Okay, let's put it on the altar. The door has opened. Sorry. <laughs> what is it? The door has opened. But I'm af too afraid to go through it. Who knows what horrible things could be lurking in there? Let me think about this for a while. Quest complete. You'll notice still no reward and another quest. The quest that this person has left, there are three. There are no unique dialogues, so just be who you want to be. What is it? I thought about it and I've decided I want you to go in. Tell me what you find. Path to blah 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 blah. <laughs> if there's any scriptures you can't decipher, just take a rubbing. Good luck. Let's go in. Prayer room. I can't read what it says. We should just we should take a rubbing and have that Shara. Well, oh, decipher it. We got that. Go further down. Oh right, yeah, we're here. <laughs> the rose, I forgot about that. I'm gonna leave that for the next episode. Uh Dunban? Dunban. He's stuck. Okay, bye Dunban. Hi Dunban. What is it? You saying that all you saw was a single stone tablet? There must be something else of importance in there. Anyway, I should take a look at what's written on the tablet. Let me see that rubbing you took. I see. It's a path to absolution. The path walked when offering the sacrifice to the white spiders. It's a line of the... By the memorable... The, the memorable... Ugh, tablets. Are those offered up as sacrifices? It's all written in this book. Enter the path of absolution and bring me back the... A tablet. It will serve as the key that opens the next door. All right then. Um. Wait the. God damn it! We gotta go there again. <laughs> I suppose it makes sense. I mean, I could climb from there, but I think this is faster. There is something there I did want to point out as well. As we went through that room, running away from all the enemies, you'll notice there was a small circular hole in that one room, the the feeding area. That hole was actually the area where Ryan, around the beginning of the game, got snared up in the web and got yoinked up out of the way, almost dying, technically. So we had to chase them. Yeah, this was actually the location. This is right above the area, I'm pretty sure of it anyway. Oh yeah, I can't look because I'm busy dying. You know what? I actually want to do this. I'll be right back! This is suicide. Well, just leveled up. Oh, we got an affinity buff! Yay! Shulk and Dunban are now the bestest of friendies. Well, that took a little bit, but we got an affinity buff between these guys. Everybody's just starting to get maxed out now, which is very nice. Oh, you got this. Boosts the next art's damage when warned of a vision. That's not bad. Okay. But now, if we actually look here, we're here, we go down. 
Yeah, this is the area. When we we did that, the cutscene that led us here into this chamber where Ryan got yoinked up, he ran across here. This area around here is where we saw from at Villa Lake him run across being chased by the spiders. He got yoinked up here, he ran all the way through here to here to end up here where we ended up fighting the Arachno Queen. There's details. Details are everywhere. Let's see what we get. Oh, we didn't get anything good. Alright, let's go and have a look over here. That's one thing I'll have to do as well sometime soon. I'm going to have to go through everybody's equipment. Alright then, got this. The Sacrificial Tablet. Let's go back. Hello. What is it? You brought back a tablet? Hey, it's just... Is it just me who fi finds a tomb with no coffin a bit strange? There has to be one somewhere. Maybe the tablet is the key. I suppose like, with this tablet, I can open another door in this room. A door that will lead us to the giant's soothsayer's resting place. I'm deciphering where the door is located. Please, give me more time. Quest complete. Still no reward. Here's the next quest. What is it? I got it. I know where the door is. Go to the level below. On the left, the after the steps, you can use the tablet to open it. Go inside and look for any clues about the giants. Find the hint. Find the hint of the Susea's crypt and Tefra cave. We're almost finished. I'm counting on you. Uh, level below. Wait. So where am I? I'm right here. Level blue. Uh, do I have to go here? Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna... Well, now I'm confused. What the? What the? Okay, that's not what I thought that she meant. <laughs> Found it! The sewer's crypt. The soothsayer's crypt. Um, was this what I was told to find? Let's go back and talk. What is it? There must be something fairly valuable in that coffin, otherwise they wouldn't go for all that trouble hiding it. But it won't be so easy to find. Like, perhaps it only appears at a certain time. So, I gotta... It's like, something here at a certain time? Hello. I, I uh, set the time to 10 at night. I got the Moonlight Book. And we are back. What is it? It's, it's the Moonlight Book. I can't believe it. And with this and the Starlight Book, I can solve the riddle of these ruins. Are the quest done? I'll go back to Colony 9 and study them. I'm shaking with excitement. Oh, of course, your rewards are silly me. I don't have it on me. I can give it to you later on. I live in the commercial district. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Quest complete. The gratitude of the blah 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 blah. <laughs> Alright then. Let's go and talk to her in Colony 9. And there you are. What is it? Oh goodness, I'm glad to see you. Thanks ever so much for the other day. I should be here to collect your reward from the blah 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 tomb. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, before that, let me tell you something exciting. Thanks to those two books, I've learned so much about the giants. It turns out that the giant's fate was linked to the white spiders. The, sp the giants in the coffin, in fact, were the giants... Soothsayer. The soothsayer subjugated the white spiders, but when the soothsayer died, the white spiders were freed. That's when they started to amass power. So the giants offered sacrifices in order to avoid a war. But the giants' numbers grew even smaller, 
soon the oppressors had clearly become the oppressed. They were unable to fight back against the white spiders. They were forced to live a, a mere existence behind closed doors. Oh, don't worry, I didn't forget about your reward. Here's the giant's treasure that's been passed down in my family. I've always wanted to research and find out more about it. But after reading these books, I now know there are three of them. One is meaningless on its own, but I know you can find the others. I shall leave it in your capable hands. That's right, we got the third and final one of the treasures. The Truth of the Giants. Quest complete. The Giant's Treasure from Zane at Phallic Mountain. And that's our next objective. To Valak Mountain! The final Giant's Ruins. Go to the Giant's Ruins at the Free Sage Summit on Valak Mountain. That we will. Here we are at the Free Sage Summit. Oh, that, that's the super boss, Final Marcus. Honestly, Final Marcus, I will show fighting him because he's the only one I could actually beat. Yeah, I saw that coming. Okay, thank God. For the free, the free treasures, quest complete of the final giant's ruins. Let's work out what. Uh oh, invited slobos. I think this is part of the actual side quest enemy, so kill it. Worldly slash and double blade. Backslash for the win! Oh yeah. Alright then. That could be good. I'll take those and ignore that crystal. Well. This Lobo's Ice Rock. We got two like Papin Papino asked for. Now Papino and... And N be happy. What? I haven't had a vision for an item in a long time. Holy crap. Ooh, wow. We got ourselves another giant's treasure. I think this is the last one of the game as well. We got the final cut. Ooh, I think this might be good. Arid drones. Titan Grease and Titan Plates. These could be good for Rhine. They seem to be built for mega defense. And with that, Valak Mountain is now complete. Nothing else left here except for probably some unique enemies. Uh, let's check out those one. Final cut. Mm, it's not as good as I thought it could have been. I don't think I got anything new that would be good for everyone. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright then, with that, we are actually done for this episode. That's everything I wanted to get done. We're going to go and do a heart-to-heart, -heart, as always. So I'll see you at that heart-to-heart. -heart. I think... It looks like we're done with heart to hearts here at Valak Mountain. So we practically 100% at this place except for the, the unique monsters. Alright then, let's go somewhere else. Revisiting the past. I have been to this place before, only once however. Really? When was that? I remember it well. When Fiora and I were much younger, we came here together. All the way from Colony 9, that's no small distance. It was I was very afraid as we made our way through Tefra Cave. I could barely remember the way now. At the time, I was so busy making sure Fiora was okay. Did something bad happen? I mean, if you don't mind telling me, that is. It was about 12 years ago, I believe. Colony 9 was attacked by the Mechon. This was where we fled to. Oh, I see. That sounds horrible. 
I was only little at the time as well, but I remembered that day. Mekon formed a barrier around our house. I feared the worst. That's when you made a run for it? Yes, but on our, on our way to the shelter, Fiora let go of my hand. She started running back to get something she'd forgotten. Was it important to her? So you braved the onslaught and went all the way back? Yes, that we did. It was a keepsake that reminded her of our mother. Losing it would have devastated her. But why didn't you send Fiora to the shelter first? You could have gone and got it on your own. There was no time. And... And what? She burst into tears. She said she didn't want me to leave her on her own. So with Fiora crying on my back, we braved it all for that keepsake. Wow, that's quite the story. Sounds like you were as much as a hero then as you are today. You think so? Well, thank you, Shala. What a blast from the past, eh? So, that'll do it for this episode, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed. Next episode, as usual, heart to heart. And we're going to be starting at Magna Forest. Yay! Expected more? <laughs>